Hello, I'm Murray Newlers. Welcome to another episode of ForumCon TV. I'm speaking with Samir from Huntsville Car Scene Forum. So, so how did you get start? Why did you start the forum? How did you get started with it? Looking around the forum, it's very much unusually actually for lots of forums. It's very much about real life, real events, going to um, events, taking photos, reporting back kind of like a news area as well as having a lot of interaction? Well, the, the forum actually started out as a online representation of what was already going on in the community. There was a community there, but it wasn't online. It wasn't united. So I used Huntsville Car Scene to kind of fill that niche. And um, how did you get it started? How did you get that? Because Often with a forum, the, 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 one of the hardest things is to get it moving, getting some kind of momentum going with the community. The thing that which I used was personally using my personal contacts. Right. I know almost all of my regular users and regular posters personally. And the way I did that was if they're going to events, I went to events as well. So you had that one-to-one -one interaction that was already in a in a physical community and then you were able to take that and translate that bring that online and how long was it before you were able to get a you know, regular discussion going within the whole community and um, and feeling like you had some moderators and it was kind of steadily moving along as a community but and you kind of could relax a little bit well I, you know the funny thing is I'm so small and the niche is so small is that I'm still in that building process and uh, I don't think there's ever a day that I'm, I'm completely comfortable with it. I know that there's a, a particular critical mass which I'm aiming for, but I don't feel I'm there yet. However, at the same time, as far as moderators, I spent a lot of time on my terms of service and, and exactly what my forum rules are from the beginning. So it's very easy for me to make examples out of people who don't follow the rules, and the community basically self-polices. That part I'm pretty proud of. What have been the things that have really got some conversation going? And as, as a new forum owner, um, for someone else starting out, what tips w would you give them in getting those conversations going? So one of the things that I found that works really, really well is there are certain topics which people cannot ignore. You know, tell us how we got, tell us how you got here, tell us why you're here. Um, and you'll have threads, you know, for example, mine is automotive. So one of the threads I know, which is universal, tell us all the cars that you've owned in the past. Right. So each new person that comes, they'll list you know, their cars that they've owned, and there's little bits of conversation that happen from that, and the thread kind of sub sub subsides a little bit. And then, of course, new users come, and they add to that content. So you'll have these threads that have this huge number of views, huge number of posts, and you, in your, I guess, initial uh, welcoming email, you can say, hey, welcome to the community, post, check out these threads, and add to them. Excellent advice, because in pretty much any kind of community or forum, you can ask people, what is your history, what have you done? It enables everyone to, to have that conversation. Obviously, there's a lot of content that they can talk about that. And, and what about um, advertisers? How, you've managed, you've got some advertising on the site, are they mainly affiliate links? Or have you had people come to start wanting to buy advertising? Advertising is the area right now which I'm, I'm concentrating on. and. It's finally starting to catch on because I'm in a my demographics is North Alabama. It's not the most technologically savvy part of the world, but as the economy has gone down, companies have realized that online advertising is, is a major component and is extremely effective and efficient compared to your traditional media. So as my site traffic has increased and as my visibility has increased, I've had companies starting to approach me, and I it's been tedious at first, but it's getting easier. And as you, as you get more advertisers, you, you get more on board. Yeah. Um, one of the first things I did was to, to entice advertising, because I've always looked at building a community and building anything as almost like a party. You've got to have people there to get more people. Yeah. So the, the cheating that I did was I signed up, signed up for LinkShare okay. and tons of affiliate programs there, high quality companies, and I fed those banner ads into my, into my uh, ad system. So. Here you have a bunch of high quality companies being displayed. If there if there isn't any revenue, it's affiliate revenue. So I'm making something more. At the same time, other companies that are in near markets will look at that and say, huh, if that company's there, I should be there. I'm local and it's worked. Excellent. And have you, so obviously you're um, 
content is very much about local events happening. Do you media partners with, partner with those events? Did you promote those events? And have you yet have you started to get a maybe a stand or a table or some presence at the, those events? I've actually gone kind of beyond that. Um, having just a stand or a table, it's, it it becomes something very passive. Instead, uh, I found out what the companies what these events use for their marketing, and I say, hey, if you guys add me to your marketing. I'll run banner ads on my website for free. So it's a win-win and it has worked tremendously. In, in, in the car show world, people will put flyers for the next upcoming event in the passenger or driver's side seat. Right. Well, at a particular event, there may be 10 to 12 flyers. At the most recent large event, I think about half of those flyers had my website URL on them because I was partnering with them. So suddenly, as, as an enthusiast looking through all these different flyers, you keep seeing the same name, it really helps reinforce that that's, that is the place to go. So you're getting offline branding support to drive people to your community. Very interesting. As a forum and community owner, um, what do you need? I, since I do almost all of it myself, and I think there's a lot of smaller companies like myself that are trying to get bigger, the biggest thing we run across is we can't do it all. So we need partnering to outsource aspects such as coding and, um, and modifying the software now to suit in your niche niche market, which I'd have to do myself right now. Um, ad sales and things of that nature, your direct sales advertising, because you can't have a direct ad sales force, but yet there's a need for one. Yeah. Um, I've even considered taking, since I create a lot of content, to, to go into a, a print publication for every quarter or a bi-monthly. And there's a tremendous amount of advertising revenue that can be made that way. So those are the three areas probably that I can, I can think of off the top of my head. Excellent. If people want to find out about your forum or contact you, how can they do that? Best thing to do is to look on HuntsvilleCarScene.com. They can also reach me on my cell phone anytime, and that's area code 615-512-5520. Smith, thank you very much. Great talking to you. Thank you very much, Murray. I'm Murray Newlands, you've been watching Forum Con TV. See you next time.